Hey guys, it's Sarah from All Combust Ladies. So today we're gonna talk about what Bitcoin, Gold and Verge actually got in common. Good thing nothing, right? Well, actually I thought it's quite good timing and it's time to make a video about and putting it straight as it is about the recent events that were surrounding those two cryptos. But before we get to do so, let's have a look on how they're doing in a crypto market. So Bitcoin Gold is currently on twenty on number twenty eighth, and it's trading up to almost forty two dollars per asset with a market cap of seven hundred billion. Whereas Verge is five positions lower, trading at three cents. We know that Verge made headlines for its partnership with Pornhub, which I was very open to talk about and say what I actually think of it. And that it now accepts Verge as a payment option. But what I want to focus is, is about the hacks that take place around Verge blockchain. So one of them happened in April. And as the latest update, Verge has been hacked again in a similar way for the second time in less than two months. So going by many different reports, the attacker has forked basically the blockchain through a striking 51% DDoS attack. It seems that the attacker exploited a bug in the XVG code by setting a false timestamp on blocks and mining new blocks in the meantime. And we're going to discuss several segments, explain the details of the hack that has alarmed many users across the community. So as I said, the past two months have been rather awful for Verge because it suffered major attacks from hackers. And there was a tweet explaining the nature of a hack and the Verge team basically said something in a way that it appears the mining pools are on the DDoS attack and they're experiencing a delay in their blocks and they're working to resolve this. Um, obviously, with big names including Pornhub latching themselves to Verge blockchain, Verge should offer the highest level of security to its users. Considering Verge's claim as a privacy coin, the attacks are rather ironic, I'd say. So at a first glance, the attack can be seen as an attempt to disrupt the, the transactions by overloading the network. It goes without saying that a DDoS attack was used to stop other people from accessing resources within the blockchain. In what can be considered a massive hacking incident lasting a couple of hours, XG has actually lost more than 1.7 million. Tracking the recent development of Verge, a similar attack was reported last month where I said and that was 25,000 XVG stolen. So the Bitcoin.org user who was notified about the attack revealed that the attack was a result of the same glitch that has been exploited by the attackers last time. So, so what is actually going on? What are the vulnerabilities on Verge blockchain? And that's basically that the privacy-centric cryptocurrency is not entirely free from limitations as it has suffered some tough luck when it comes to security breaches. From Verge's Twitter account hacked to exposing users' IP addresses due to internal vulnerabilities, Verge has seen it all, I'd say, and the limitations on the blockchain haven't prevented Verge from engaging in serious business. And as we're speaking about security breaches and internal vulnerabilities, uh, a mention can be made of three notable features of Verge that put it at a risk of potential attack. So to begin with, Verge uses the dark gravity wave algorithm which adjusts the difficulty of mining each XVG block. This is not the same with Bitcoin as it just its difficulty after mining 216 blocks. Also, Verge runs on multiple mining algorithms which are responsible for splitting the hash rate and security among each other depending on the application. And one of the major loopholes on the blockchain is allowing users to use incorrect stamping. This is why getting the right timestamp can be quite challenging sometimes, and since the correct timestamp cannot be identified, miners can use full advantage of it. So to execute the attack, the attacker submitted multiple blocks containing an incorrect timestamp, which made the executives believe that blocks weren't coming in the right intervals. This prompted the algorithm to lower its difficulty by a huge margin, almost on the order of 99.9%, .9%. as Verge's hash rate was forked am among five different algorithms, the attacker could pull off the 51% attack, redirecting all the coins to his or her account. So guys, let me know your actual opinions about the Verge and what's currently going on in your opinion about it and whether they should really get it sorted because it's getting a bit of out of control, I think. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know I'm not the biggest fan of Verge and I never struggled against it. I just I just try and put news as they are and 
ever since I've been doing YouTube, obviously pay more attention to what's going on in the market. And everything that I hear about Verge is always either negative or it's just embarrassing in a way. But now let's get to talking on to Bitcoin Gold. So what happened with Bitcoin Gold is that an unidentified hacker has mounted several double spend attacks on the infrastructure of the Bitcoin Gold cryptocurrency and has managed to take away at least 80 million worth of, of Bitcoin Gold coins. According to many posts, the attacks are taking place a few Fridays ago and that will be the 18th May. And basically what happened is that the attacker has been deploying a large number of servers to take control of more than half of Bitcoin Gold's network hash rate in what's known as the 51% attack again. This grants, because I haven't explained it in the Verge part and I think it's quite important to understand, is that basically this grants the attacker the ability to modify details of blockchain transactions, an ability he's been using in the last few days to perform a second attack called double spend which, as the name implies, allows him to spend the same amount of coins twice. And what was the most interesting in it is that the hacker was actually targeting exchanges and not the users. So according to the Bitcoin Gold team, the attacker has been using this combination of a 51% and a double spend attack to defraud cryptocurrency exchange services. And because the, the cost of mounting on ongoing attack is, was quite high, and because the cost was high, the attacker can only profit if they can quickly get something of high value from a fake deposit. A party like an exchange may accept large deposits automatically, allow the users to trade into a different coin quickly and then withdraw automatically. And that's why this attacker was targeting the exchanges. So again, I'm gonna ask you guys about your opinion about Bitcoin Gold and the, and the frequency that the 51% attack, double spend and just any sort of hacks happen in this community and what in your opinion could possibly be changed so we could avoid that. And let me know, do you guys actually huddle any Bitcoin Gold or Verge and what are your predictions for it? Remember, subscribe to our channel, All Coin Best Ladies, and follow me on Twitter, All Coin Sarah. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye!